Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Lynn and I'm Pretty Papercraft 67. And yes, I've been missing in action for a little while. Um, <clears throat> I had my holiday down the Gold Coast and I've come home and I've just been really busy, busy, busy getting heaps and heaps of new stock into the Etsy store. <clears throat> Pardon my voice. So I thought we just might quickly go through some of the things that are now available in the shop. And I've got a whole heap of more projects that I'm working on to get heaps of stock in there. So first of all, we'll start over here. I've just done some little handmade envelope sets. These are um, four by four and a quarter inches. I've got two sets of these now for sale in the store. So this one here is your black and whites. Um, and I've just chosen some random designs um i've inked everything i have also sewn around the flaps of each envelope and i've lined them all with um a patterned paper so that is the black and white set <clears throat> that one there they're always nice if you do gift cards or you know even as pockets in your journals something to slip inside a pocket with a little note card so i've got the black and white set and then we also have this colored set here sort of like a, the, a vintage style tones lots of yellow purple pink really really pretty and again they have been machine stitched around the, each flap and again i have lined inside each envelope like that so those are both in the shop at the moment as i said there are four inch by four and a quarter i've also made a set of four by six so again these are lots of pinks and creams in this set a little bit of silver really nice once again i have machine stitched around your flaps of the envelope distress inked now this one here is like a wallpaper style, so it has a beautiful texture in that one. Um, <clears throat> and again, I've just lined them inside with patterned papers. Um, they, these have been made on an envelope punch board, so they're a, a really nice size and a good sturdy construction. So we've got some envelopes for sale in the shop. I've also gone ahead and made some diagonal fold pocket sets. So we've got this one here. Now I've made them with lots and lots of pockets. I've done heaps of machine stitching. I've distress inked them all. So they have a multitude of pockets. Let me try and find something. So this one I've got one, two, three there. And then turn them over. And then we've got another, there, another two on that side. So they're all for fairly similar with a whole heap of different pockets. Again, made all with um, scrapbooking paper. This one's got one, two, three, and four there, and flip it over, and then we've got a big one. So they're really nice to add into your junk journal pockets, or again, pop them down onto your page of your journal for a pocket. So I've just done some random designs in those. So again, we've got these ones here measure... <clears throat> Are they five and a half inches by four and a quarter inches? So I've got two sets um, like that. And then I've made some bigger ones. Uh, and these measure six inches by six inches. So these are great for happy mail. Pop your um, ephemera inside, load them all up, and they're just a really nice gift. Uh, and again, a multitude of pockets on each each pocket as such and again machine stitched all the way around so that's another one set of the larger and then we have another set of that larger size as well in a little bit more bright colors lots of blue in this set so and again all machine stitched and all distress inked so we have those for sale in the store i thought i'd do a selection of pocket tags um in a stack I love these things these are great for bases uh, for working on base for working on your tags so each set has its little pocket and then there are three tags in varying sizes um, they are all blank 
and I've got music paper on one side and floral on the other so you can actually reverse them um, so yeah they're nice and sturdy I've used a lots of um, good quality cardstock and then I've covered them with the pattern papers so we've got six different styles of that in the shop and I've just popped some string so we've got the florals and music paper we've got this one here which is like old-fashioned um, oh it's like collage of all different style postcards and advertisements and things and I've backed those as well so again you can reverse them if you wanted to work on that side <clears throat> Just a little bit of fun and I think it's also really good to have some things like this in your stash ready to go when, you, when you're when you doing a project. Um, you can always work your project around different designs and patterns. So this one is very pretty. This is very vintage with your big, well I don't think they're a sunflower but they're sort of a daisy style. So that's, and they all fit really nicely inside these little pockets. This one here is just advertisements, vintage advertisements. And on the back, I've just put some um, coffee-coloured cardstock down on the back. And then this one's a bit um, boho, I suppose you'd call it. I love the colours in this. It's just beautiful. Lots and lots of florals and um, fleur-de-lis and things like that. And I've just backed those onto coffee stain. So we've got all of those in the shop at the moment. Then I have gone across to do some toppers. So this one here I love. It's just a big collage of all. They've got some Tim Holtz um, paper inspirations. I've done a die cut of a butterfly and uh, a paper and made a paper, um, I don't know what you call it, tube as the body. I've got some cheesecloth, lace, some music paper corrugated cardboard and I've just sewn it all together really messy and I've actually mounted that onto a vintage book cover you can see it's quite worn on the edges and I love that green and the green just matches in really nicely so that is really good and sturdy so a journal topper and I also created this journal topper with a beautiful photograph from a Joey card maker uh, the 1940s printable and I've fussy cut some roses and then used a tarnished safety pin just to make a little uh, sentiment there. So that one's just um, music paper and scrapbook paper and lace. So that's the two journal toppers that are in the store. And then I've just done a little journal, a coffee themed um, junk journal. Uh, just again, I've done just a big layer up of all different elements on the front, bit of metal, some Tim Holtz, a tag some stamping, cheesecloth, machine stitching. Um, and this one here, I've made the cover out of envelopes. So in each front and back cover, you've got two pockets. And I've just loaded those pockets with ephemera. So there's your two pockets, machine stitching. And I've just made some um, assorted ephemera. Um, I've got some five file folders there. I've got two file folders in this pocket. And I've just used the Stamperia coffee and chocolate background um, paper pad. So everything is just beautiful for chocolate and coffee. So anyone that loves coffee uh, and likes a bit of chocolate, this would suit. Just a journal card, a window face journal card. And then this one here, I've just made this one is a little... Um, secret journal spot but I've just added a little pocket on the front with a couple of little pieces of little advertisements from that paper pad and then I've held it all in place with oh it's a bit hard to get back on I might just leave him for now is a little square paper clip but I don't want to damage that so then I've just filled this journal with 20 pages of coffee stained papers so you've got 40 writing writing sides and I've just machine stitched around each paper each page um, mainly plain papers but um, yeah they've all got that little little bit of patterning because of the different variations of the coffee dyeing in the middle of the sec of the signature I've made another pocket to hold some more ephemera. So here I've just put a couple of pockets with some matching tags that work nice for 
uh, coffee and I've embossed this one here and this one here I've just done um, the CD packet with a journal card to match so they will be included in this in this book and then the other side of the signature and then at the end at the back here I've just made some window face journal cards uh, and they are very thick very thick um, nice nice sturdy so you can write little notes or give them as little gift cards and then I've also just made some um, little specimen slides with that coffee influence so these this um, these are all all these pieces are now for sale in the Etsy store it doesn't seem like a lot when I go through it here with you on on YouTube but I'll tell you what I have been go go going all week I may I started a lot of these things while I was down the Gold Coast and um, I was so pleased to have them all finished by the time by now so they're all listed up for sale um, there's also a few other things in the store there's some napkin bundles um, there's some patchwork papers that I'm working on to go in and uh, today I'm doing pocket tags loaded with ephemera so yeah keep your eye on the Etsy store I'm working really hard to get my stock levels back up and um, yeah I'm quite enjoying getting back to basics oh I've also done this little mini um, ephemera bundle that's in the store as well I did some of these on a video the other week for uh, my design team project for witchcraft do you do I've also just made some little um, <clears throat> some little frames, which I've used some Tim Holtz, backed them onto some music paper. And then we've also got in this little bundle, I might as well grab the whole lot out and show you through. So I've got the two rusted or tarnished safety pins with some seam binding, just popped down on some little button cards. I've made a couple of just really cute little file folders that I've decorated up. Um, and so they're a great little writing space. Pop in your pockets in your junk journal. I've done some set specimen slides and I have used um, vellum, which I've stamped with a florally type stamp. So I've got three of those in there and just some cheesecloth and some um, sewing thread. And then I've made a little vellum pocket, which I, this is what we did on video, a little vellum pocket. And I've just included some of these sweet little button trinket and adornment cards from Witchcraft Do You Do. So I've got the heart, the butterfly, the two vintage dresses and some buttons. So just some little minis just to, um, yeah, you have on hand to use in projects or if, you know, you, they've all got a, a writing space so they could all be journaling elements. Um, but yeah, I love a bit of a mini. Uh, and so that's a whole ephemera bundle of mini. So that's in the shop also. But yeah, I just wanted to come on and touch base. I am concentrating on stock at the moment. So I haven't actually prepared any uh, YouTube videos. So um, yeah, I, I'm sort of got to prioritize at the moment. And stock is my priority because that's my bread and butter. So um, I do apologise if I'm not very regular with uh, YouTube videos in the next, say, week or two. I do have projects I need to uh, organise. I've got my design team project for Witchcraft Do You Do, my design team project for Clear Scraps. They're all coming up due as well. So, yes, I do apologise if I'm not here quite so often, but um, I will get back and I hopefully will have some really great projects to show you soon in the coming few in the coming weeks but if any of this is interesting to you it's all for sale over on the Etsy store and I will link that all below all right everyone thank you so much for joining me today I hope you're having a great week um stay safe and well and I'll see you all again soon thanks so much bye bye <laughs>